this is Kevin. And I'm Logan. And, and we're, we're from, from Chrome Americas. Americas. Today we thought we would show you the modularity of the Chrome Schroeder solenoid valves uh, and the accessories that go with them. If your application requires a double blocking safety valve, now we're going to show you how to assemble these together to achieve that. Now, we've already knocked out these holes here but they would look like that otherwise and you just need a flathead and a mallet to get those out. These valves are flowing left to right and you need a screen on the incoming valve. You can see we've got another screen here and now we can remove that with the help of a little flathead. Makes it a little bit easier for us. There's also going to be a gasket on this side and we're taking these out so that we can make room for this double wide gasket to prevent leaks. You'll need to remove these covers here and take your cable gland and feed it through the bottom valve here. Your grommet to hold this in place and seal the gap between them and try to line these up as you put them together so you don't move the gaskets you just put in there. Now you're going to take your lock nut for the cable gland and tighten that down. Great. Now you're going to take two of your bolts, put them in these holes here, and you're going to tighten them down And now we're going to do the same thing for the flanges. And same thing on the other side. And you are just about done. All that's left to do to complete this is to put your covers back on and your double blocking safety valve is now complete. Now we're going to quickly go over the attachment block or accessory block, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, your kit will come with two little bolts here and two o-rings to put in these little cavities here. Basically what this does is it'll mount up here and it gives you two extra ports off of your valve and with that setup you could put a gauge on the back like this, test ports, whatever you'd like. And that's about it for the accessory block. Chrome Schroeder is made it easy to add a vent valve uh, if, you're, if you have an application that's necessary for that uh, by adding this block. And Logan will demonstrate on how to add that to your double block valve. So now we've taken apart the VCS we just built. You're not going to have the cable gland anymore. but that's okay. So we've got our vent block here and these are size 1 valves and this is a size 1 vent block and it's very important that you get the same size vent block as you've got valves. Now your blocks gonna come with all the parts you need to connect this all together to give you that vent valve functionality. You're gonna start by adding your seals to the first valve and make sure all your flow directions line up. You're going to bolt these together. And same thing for the next valve. 
sure you get your seal in there. Kevin's going to give me a hand to hold this tight. That's all there is to it. So here you can see we've got the vent block attached to a VAN, which is a normally open valve, and just got our flanges here, and this is what a vent valve setup would look like. Prom Schroeder also offers a bypass kit to make use of a third valve uh, in case of you know, would say you need a uh, pilot or you want a high fire, low fire uh, ability. It makes it to so where you can do that with just by adding this kit and adding a third valve. And we'll uh, show you how to install that. To put together the bypass kit to add your third valve, you need to find your second valve and remove the nuts on the bottom and replace it with the extended nuts that come in the kit. After you do this, you need to remove these plugs, which we've already loosened, but you'll need an Allen wrench. You're going to take this yellow frame here, align the ends of it with these holes, and then you're going to take your pass-throughs here. Make sure that on the first port, coming from the first valve, that you have the open one there. You also need your O-rings on either side of this pass-through and then slide that in there. You want your second one to be the blocked one. You're not going to be using the second open one. Again, you're going to need your O-rings either side and then pop that in the other slot here like that and now you need to also remove the plugs here, which we will do. Before we mount the third valve here, I'd like to explain why this port here is open and this one is closed. And that is because when this second valve is off, it's going to force the gas into the third valve, but not allow it to go back in. Now, if the third valve is off and this is open, it's going to flow through as normal. So now after all of that explanation, we are ready to finally mount the bypass valve. So it's critical that all of your arrows are pointing in the same direction. These are all going to the left. Now, our incoming has a screen, but we need to blank it off because we do not want any more gas coming out that way. We want it all to flow in the direction it should be, which in this case is left. So you're going to have your flange of choice here and your blank on the right. And all that's left to do is to put your bolts in there. And here is your complete bypass. All the arrows going in the same direction. Blank on the incoming of your bypass. And you are ready to wire it up and go. For questions on the VAS valves or any of the accessories we've showed you, please feel free to contact us at support at chromamericas.com. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.